We have a deer here that my brother shot last night, a big mature buck, and uh, he's gonna go ahead and get it mounted. So I'm gonna do my best to take a step-by-step -step process through how we skin the deer for the taxidermist. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way from the rear end of the deer all the way down to the front end. And what I like to do is get about halfway down the deer body, and then we'll go to the front legs and then to the chest, and I'll show you there the cuts that you need to make so that way you don't mess up the actual brisket of the deer. So what we'll do is we'll start right back here. I'm gonna make a cut all the way around right here. And then I'm gonna peel this down. I'm gonna peel all the way down here. Do the same thing over here on this leg. Get all the way down to the tail. And when I get to the tail, I'm gonna cut that tail bone. And then all I gotta do is pull down, pull the actual hide down. And I'll, like I said, I'll go about halfway and then we'll go to the front legs and I'll show you what we're gonna do on the front legs. And you can see where the brown hair meets the white hair. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right above the knee and I'm gonna make an incision all the way around, all the way around the leg, on both legs. Then I'm gonna draw a line with a knife and cut straight up where the brown meets the white. And I'm gonna draw a V basically once I get to his armpit. I'm gonna go from his armpit and go straight up and make a V. The further back you can make your V, the better because you don't wanna mess up the brisket for the mount. So I like to make my V go up as high as I almost can. And I'm, like I said, I'll do the same thing over here and I'll make my V up there. And then I'll go ahead and I'll peel, cut and peel all this around, pull it up. Same thing on this leg. And then I'll go ahead and cut my V and go ahead and make that flat come all the way down. So then when I get back to my halfway point up here on the body, I'll peel the deer down and it'll peel all that at once. And I know it's easier said than me showing you. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you so you know what I'm talking about. But I want to give you kind of a heads up of what I'm doing. And then what our main goal objective is, is we're going to get, we're going to get the hide pulled down three fourths away up the neck here. Once we get there, then we'll go ahead and cut all around the neck meat to the neck bone. And we'll go ahead and cut the neck bone off with the saw and we'll put it in the trash bag and take it to the taxidermist. A lot of people do cape out their own heads, but my taxidermist is a local one. So that's, I, I just prefer him to do it so there's no messing it up. So we're gonna go ahead and get started now and start with my cuts and we're gonna go from there. I love the Havilon knife. I use it for gutting, butchering, skidding, everything. But we're gonna go ahead and get started now. So basically I'm going for my cut from where I gutted the deer last night. I'm gonna go from this cut here and I'm gonna go around and meet up with it. I'm gonna do that on both sides. Here. Whatever you do, don't cut the tendon. Don't cut the leg tendon. That's what the deer is hanging from. And go ahead and start peeling it down. Back around. I basically peeled away from the back of the legs here, on the back legs here, and we're getting ready to peel down to the tail, to the actual tail here, and I'm gonna show you what I do to cut that off. Sometimes it, it seems like I can get a good cut and actually cut the whole tail and make it perfect, and sometimes I gotta use a saw. Real close to this tail here. Peel this down a little further. I'm 
And you see right here is the tail. This piece here. And you're not gonna get that close to it. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just cut right around through that bone. You can feel that bone in there. Just take your saw, cut right through, and there I just heard it crack and break. And there she comes. Now I should be able to go ahead and do my cut and cut it all down. And if you make some holes back here on the back end of the cape, in the cape, don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. I was just kind of doing it rush job here. Um, it's more imperative up in the front to make absolutely no holes if you can, if at all possible. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this down a little further. Tail, I'm using it to pull down a lot with. And you can also grab the hide and pull a lot of it down too. Let's see what I'm doing there. And then we're gonna go around to the side here and you'll see his hair here by his stomach. We're just gonna go ahead and peel that right off. Getting closer to the halfway point where we're gonna start on the front end of the deer. You kind of gauge by how far your hide's going down on the deer on when you need to stop to start working on the front. Otherwise, you're just going to have that cape in your way, and it's just going to make it a, a job working around it. And if you don't have to, there's really no need to do that. Alright, we're to the halfway point. I'm going to go ahead and raise this deer up. We're going to work on the front. Alright, come on over here, Jordan. Go around right above the kneecap here. We're going to go right around. I'm going to do that on both sides, and then I'm going to draw that, that line right where the brown meets the white, all the way up to the armpit. And from the armpit, go up and make a V. So you're angling over, making a V. Higher up, the better. That way you're not messing up the brisket or anything. And this is for a shoulder mount. I forgot to mention that earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and start here. Okay. Get my cut all the way around. Okay, I'm gonna draw my line. You just shove your knife in there and feel it. It doesn't have to be right on the line, but as close as you can to it. Go up, feel his elbow there. Just keep going up. And start my V. there. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Right above the kneecap again. And go around. Alright, all the way around. I'm going to draw my line from right there on up.
line up my V here so I know where I'm going. And there you have it. The V is attached. It's kind of a V anyway. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and cut around these legs here and get that completely free and peel it up. I'm going to get started here. Whole front leg here. Um, do your best not to cut a hole in the hide here. This is where you want to try to be careful. And come over here, Jordan. I'll show you. Not sure if you can see it or not, but you can see that red right there. That's the that's the tendon I was talking about. I'm gonna try to go around it. You can see it peeling away there. I know the deer spinning on me. Doing the best so we can get this on film and show you guys. Sometimes that can be a trick. I'm go to the other side here. Okay, so now you can see we got both front legs, got completely around them. I brought them up basically to the armpit here. So now what's going to happen is, I already have my V cut made, obviously, from earlier. I'm going to work this V down, and that V is all this center section, this brisket, is part of this here. So it's all going to come down as one piece, whatever I get all the way down there lower. And once I get this V brought down in good ways, down to here, then I'll go ahead and start back up towards the midsection and bring the entire cape the rest of the way down all the way to the neck area where we'll go ahead and cut the neck off, cut the head off, and um, be ready to take to the taxidermist. Cut out the top of our V and bring it on down. Like I said, personally, I like to take my time on this. This is one of the most important parts when you're caping your deer for a shoulder mount. You know, a good way to practice too, is if you shoot a doe, uh, practice on a doe, you know, act like it's going to be a, a mounted deer and, you know, get yourself really good at it. Um, so that way when the day comes and you do shoot that trophy of a lifetime buck and you want to get him mounted, you'll know exactly what you're doing. And, um, Taxidermists will love you. And then what I like to do too, is I go from where your V, your V was at, you got this little piece of hide still here, you need to separate the two. And honestly, you can bring your V all the way up to that cut if you want to, and that's totally fine. But I don't. And there, that's cut now. So that way we'll peel the whole thing. We'll peel that whole side off, we'll peel that whole side off. So basically the goal here, I got the V flap all the way down to the neck here. And I got these two sides separated. I went and made my line here. So you can basically see it. This is all one piece now over here on this side that'll meet up to the neck area. Then you got the side over here, this whole side here, 
we'll come down all in one piece too to the neck. Then we get all the way down to the neck, we'll cut around the neck, cut the bone, cut his uh, neck bone. We'll uh, roll it up, put it in a trash bag, and we'll head straight to taxidermist and, um, and get it to him. So we're going to go ahead and start back up here now on each side. We're going to work it all the way down to the neck now. So from here on out, we're going straight down, uh, starting from back here. I'm ready to do my pull. I went ahead and I have it now met up with the armpit on the other side here on the front leg. You see it's all going to be one piece now and we're going straight down to the neck. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and cut the cut around. We're going to cut deep inside the neck here, get to the bone, and then we're going to saw the bone off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the whole entire cape and everything into the trash bag so when it falls, it doesn't hit the ground. It goes into the trash bag. Uh, get a big trash bag. One thing I forgot to mention earlier that I want to be adamant about, especially here in Illinois, is you got to have a tag on the head, which is the, the antlers here, and you got to have a tag on the legs. We're separating the head from the body. So therefore, you gotta make sure you have the head tag and you have the body tag. The tag on the, on the body must stay with the meat. The tag for the antlers must stay with the antlers. So just something to keep in mind. I'm not sure what all of your states, uh, uh, what their requirements are, but in the state of Illinois, that is the case. So I forgot to mention that earlier and I wanna make sure I pointed that out. So now we're going to go ahead, I'm going to get my trash bag under the deer here. I'm going to go ahead and lift him up a little bit. And then just keep going all the way around until you get to that bone. Once you get to that bone, then you're ready to saw. Got this one. There it is. And if you can't get to your taxidermist right away, I recommend getting it into your freezer ASAP. And there you have it. He's all done, ready to go to the taxidermist. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. It took me a little longer than it normally does because we're trying to film it all for you guys. But now we have a headless buck. Um, that's start to finish process on how to skin a deer for your taxidermy. And that's for a shoulder mount whitetail deer. Um, like I said, it's pretty much the same process for every deer species. Uh, we kept the most amount of meat as possible. We went ahead and took the entire cape off because uh, we're gonna be butchering this deer. So obviously we gotta have all the hide off to be able to do that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We're gonna make some more videos along the way here on how to butcher a deer. Uh, we're gonna teach you guys how to gut a deer. Um, so hopefully this will be helpful for you guys in the field so you'll know exactly what you're doing when it comes to that point in time. Like I said too, shoot a doe, practice on a doe. 
Um, it never hurts. The more practice you have, the better you'll get, and the quicker you'll get too with it. So, with that being said, we hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you right here again next time.